The topic for today's discussion is on anthropology, its relationship with social sciences. First, let us have the introduction. Anthropology is the study of humanity. It has origins in natural sciences, humanities and social sciences. The social sciences include sociology, history, economics, social psychology, and political science. Sociology is the study of society. It studies particular problems in civilized society. History is a subject which deals with the past. History and anthropology continues to address the intersection of history and social sciences. Economics is a branch of social science that analyzes the production, distribution, and consumption of goods and services. Economic anthropology attempts to explain human economic behavior using the tools of both economics and anthropology. Social psychology is the science of mind and behavior of human nature in the society. Political science is a social science concerned with the theory and practice of politics and analysis of political systems and political behavior. Anthropology and its relationship with social sciences. First we have anthropology and sociology. The relation between anthropology and sociology is widely recognized today. In fact, anthropologist Grover pointed out that the two sciences are twin sisters. Robert Redfield writes that, quote, viewing the whole United States, one sees that the relation between anthropology and sociology is closer than those between the anthropology and other social sciences, unquote. Sociology is greatly benefited by anthropological studies. Sociologists have to depend upon anthropologists to understand the present day social phenomena from our knowledge of the past, which is often provided by anthropology. The studies made by famous anthropologists like Reckliff Brown, B. Malinowski, Ralph Linton, Louis, Raymond Ford, Margaret Mead, Ivan Spritzer, and others have been proved to be valuable in sociology. Sociological topics such as the origin of family, the beginning of marriage, private property, the genesis of religion, etc., can be better understood in the light of anthropological knowledge. The anthropological studies have shown that there is no correlation between anatomical characteristics and a mental superiority. The notion of racial superiority has been disproved by anthropology. Further, sociology has borrowed many concepts like cultural areas, cultural threats, interdependent threats, cultural lack, cultural patterns, cultural configuration, etc. from socio-cultural anthropology. The knowledge of anthropology, physical as well as socio-cultural, is necessary for a sociologist. An understanding of society can be gained 
by comparing various cultures, particularly the modern with primitive. Next we have Anthropology and Economics. Anthropology and Economics as social sciences have very close relation. The relationship between the two sciences is so close that one is often treated as the branch of the other. Anthropologists have contributed to the study of different aspects of economic organization. An economist provides knowledge of property system, division of labor, occupations, industrial organization, etc. to the anthropologists. Some matters such as labor relations, standard of living, employer-employee relations, social classes, socioeconomic planning, socioeconomic reforms, etc. are common to both economists and anthropologists. The area of cooperation between anthropology and economics is widening day by day. Economists are now analyzing the social factors influencing economic growth. Economists are working with the anthropologists in their study of the problem of economic development in underdeveloped countries. Economists are more and more making use of the anthropological concepts and generalizations in the study of economic problems. Problems like poverty, beggary, unemployment, overpopulation, and unregulated industrialization have both social and economic implications. Next we have anthropology and social psychology. Anthropology and psychology are contributory subjects. Psychology is defined as the study of human behavior. Anthropology studies man in all places and times. Psychology is the science of human experiences and behaviors. It also studies man's behavior in relation to environment. Anthropology is also a comparative and analytic study of human behavior and experiences. These two subjects are complementary to each other. On one side, a psychological knowledge helps an anthropologist in understanding the root causes of human behavior in different cultures. And on the other side, anthropological studies help the psychologists in calculating the influence of cultural environment of human behavior. In modern times, the various anthropological studies have rendered important help in the field of psychology. By studying different primitive cultures, anthropologists have shown how human behavior differs in different cultural environments. Every culture has its special method of social control, which has an important influence on the personality of its members. The closest relation between psychology and anthropology is seen in the relation between the main branches, social psychology and cultural anthropology. In social psychology, individual behavior is studied under social environments. Social anthropology also studies human society, human institutions and groups. The famous anthropologist Howell writes that, quotation, the anthropologist concentrates simply on society of primitive people and the sociologist concentrates on our contemporary civilization. Next we have anthropology and political science. Anthropology and political science are very closely related. In fact, 
political activity is only a part of social activity. Thus, political science appears to be a branch of anthropology. Political activity is influenced by the social life of man. In fact, political activities will have no meaning outside the social context. Politics is, after all, the reflection of society. Political science gives anthropological facts about the organization and functions of the state and the government. Political science is concerned with the state, but anthropology studies state as one of the human associations. The laws of the state have a great influence upon society. These laws are largely based on customs, traditions, conventions, and uses. But these customs, traditions, etc., are the concerns of anthropology. institution of family is an element in social life. It is a concern of anthropology. There are some common topics of interest for both anthropologists and political scientists. Such topics are war, mass movements, revolutions, government control, public opinion, leadership, elections, voting, political minorities, and social legislations like civil court, communal riots, racial tensions between whites and Negroes, Asians and Europeans, border disputes between different states, caste conflict, etc., are problems that have political as well as social implications. After discussing all the related relevant relationships, now let us have the conclusion. In this brief lecture, an attempt has been made that sociologists have helped anthropologists in many aspects of their studies. Anthropology is closely related with history because anthropology studies the past and also studies ancient things. There are lots of socioeconomic problems prevailing in different societies like poverty, vagary, unemployment, overpopulation, unregulated industrialization. These problems can be solved by combined studies of both the subjects. Anthropology and psychology try to define man's social behavior. The closest relation between these two subjects can be seen by studying social psychology and cultural anthropology. Anthropology is also greatly related with political science. It has become quite common to use political instruments to solve social problems like vagary, unemployment, prostitution, poverty, and crime, etc.